real happy for that group of players that are in the locker room right now because they've been through a lot. Um, and, you know, coaching change is stressful in and of itself. Just the idea of a new coach coming in, and they, they put in a lot of work in the summer. And when kids work hard, and you see your kids working hard every day, you just you just want to see that pay off, and you want to see them have some success. So I think that that's probably the happiest part. I of think it. we've been playing exceptional practices and stuff, and just getting to know our team and you know moving the ball around. Whereas last year, you know, we had five freshmen. So I think just them, you know, having a year to mature and us as a team mature. Um, I think that helps us with moving the ball around and really getting to know the offense. They were awesome. I mean, they were awesome. They, were, they were, had nine assists and no turnovers tonight combined. And, you know, we talk about those two a lot together. We almost never talk about just one or the other because it is, I think part of the reason they're so effective is the combination of the two of them. And that they, they provide, they, they constantly put pressure on the defense to guard them and keep them out of the paint. And then not the other end of the floor, they generally do a pretty good job of guarding. Um, I know that we, you know, Jones was really good tonight, and it's hard to say that you did a good job of guarding a kid that got 21-7. Um, but generally, we do a pretty good job of guarding, and I, it's not just Cat, it's not just Monty, I think it's a combination of the both of them. Uh, and they're both incredibly unselfish kids. And, like, they don't, they could care less if they ever shoot. Um, they do take what they get. They're both, I think, pretty good shooters. I think it's phenomenal that we have, you know, two point guards that can be on the floor. Um, you know, I can come on the game and nothing drops, and she can come on the game and nothing drops. So I think, you know, that is something that is really helping our team right now. And um, we can play as hard as we want to because I, we both have confidence that when one of us gets tired, that the other one won't, um, you know, drop the style or the pace of the game at all. So I love having her as another point guard. You know, we keep our confidence by acknowledging the fact that we are 6-0, but we also know that ECU is a great team and, you know, at any point we can't get too cocky, we can't get too confident because we still have a lot to prove and, you know, at any time we can start going downhill, you know, we're not, I mean, we're, we're a great team, we have a lot of potential, you know, but if we get too full of ourselves or if we think that we can take shortcuts, then, you know, we're a very beatable team too, so we just have to stick to our principles and not get too full of ourselves.